¿Qué pasó, pinche perro? It's your homeboy, Quetzalcoatl. Welcome back to the Fuck Your Life Boxing Show. On today's episode, we're going to talk about the upcoming fight between Luis Collazo and Amir Khan. We're going to talk about both fighters. We're going to discuss some of the recent fights. And I'm going to tell you how I see this fight going down. We'll start off with Luis Collazo. Luis Collazo is 33 years old. He stands at 5 feet 9 inches. He has a 72 inch reach. And he holds a record of 35 victories with 5 losses. And 18 of those wins coming by way of knockout. Collazo is a southpaw with decent pop and has good overall boxing skills. To me, Collazo has always been a solid B fighter who hasn't quite been able to break into the elite class. And this has been due to a number of different factors. You know, whether it's him having bad performances, such as his decision loss to Freddie Hernandez, or the time when he got his ass whooped by Shane Mosley. There's also been times where Luis Colazo has had bouts of inactivity, and that, that has also added to him, you know, not breaking through. There's also been times, like in the fight with Andre Berto, where I felt that Colazo did enough to get the victory, but Andre Berto ended up getting the decision. You know, there just has always been something holding him back. And after a while, you just stop hearing about Luis Colazo. I started to wonder what happened to Luis Colazo. I was like, man, they're about to start talking about Colazo on Ancient Aliens. They're going to be talking about how he up there with Panchita Wajalo getting raped by them gay ass aliens I was telling you about. Colazo was, however, able to once again become relevant in the boxing scene with his stunning upset over Victor Ortiz. Colazo knocked Ortiz out with a huge right hook in the second round that put Ortiz down for good. As I said in a previous video, after that fight, Victor Ortiz started doing valet at Fernando Vargas restaurant. I got an update for y'all. Now, we all know that Victor Ortiz has never really had heart. Word is, he worked at Fernando's restaurant for a month, then he quit. Because Ortiz, he, he ain't quitting fights no more. He quit jobs now. So Victor Ortiz, he's on unemployment right now. But with that victory over Ortiz, Colazzo now has a chance to build on that momentum versus Amir Khan. Now let's talk about Amir Khan. Amir Khan is 27 years old. He stands at 5 feet 8 inches. He has a 71 inch reach. And he holds a record of 28 wins with 3 losses and 19 of those wins coming by way of knockout. Amir Khan is a fighter who right after winning the silver medal at the Olympics had a lot of expectations placed upon him for his professional career. He has been able to fulfill some of those expectations so far like becoming a world champion but he's also had major setbacks like getting knocked the fuck out by Bradis Prescott in the first round. That was a bad loss. As a matter of fact, uh, I believe that there's an interview that Amir Khan did with Jim Lampley where Amir Khan states that uh, he had to seek rape counseling after that fight. And let's not forget about the beatdown that Danny Garcia put on him. As I've said in the past, Amir Khan has attributes that are at an elite level, such as his speed. But he also has other attributes like his chin that are bum status. Amir Khan has very fast hands. He has good foot movement. He has respectable power and decent defense. Now, he's not a defensive wizard by any means, but he doesn't have a bar fighter's defense either. Khan's Achilles heel has always been his fragile chin. As I just said, you saw his glass chin on display versus Bradis Prescott, where Prescott annihilated him in one round. Then his chin had an encore performance versus Danny Garcia, where Garcia rocked him with a devastating left hook and finished him in four. He just doesn't have a chin. Shit, I hear the motherfucker use his Windex as shaving cream. But that doesn't mean that Amir Khan doesn't possess heart. In the Garcia fight, for example, Khan was hurt badly, and he went out swinging. For somebody who has a fragile chin like that, who got rocked like that, 
and continue to fight the way he did, man, Amir Khan went out like a G. But like I said, that chin though. People need to start a foundation so they can do some research and find out why people like Amir Khan are born without a chin. Now with all that said, my prediction is that Luis Colazzo is going to win this fight. I think that Amir Khan and his handlers are making a big mistake by picking Colazzo as his next opponent. For one, Amir Khan has had some bad performances in his recent fights. Garcia destroyed him. Now he was however able to come back versus Carlos Molina and he had a decent performance. But then he gets dropped by Julio Diaz and barely wins the fight. Second, Amir Khan is in the Mayweather sweepstakes. Which is why he's fighting on the undercard because it's rumored that he may fight Mayweather in September. Now, at this point, I don't feel that Amir Khan deserves a fight versus Floyd Mayweather because of his recent performances. But the fact of the matter is, he is in the running and he's putting all that in jeopardy by fighting a guy who's coming off of a huge victory and is very confident right now and hungry for another big win. And based on the Diaz fight, I think that Amir Khan is vulnerable right now, both mentally and physically. I think that Amir Khan doesn't possess the confidence right now that's necessary to beat a fighter like Halazo. And his chin seems as fragile as ever. Amir Khan could have chosen any other opponent for this fight. He could have chosen an opponent that really wasn't a big threat just so he could stay active as he waits for Mayweather. Instead, I believe that Amir Khan has just put himself in a position to have another huge setback. And depending on the way he loses, this may determine what his future is going to be in boxing, whether he's going to be a top billing fighter or not. Now, if he loses by decision and it's a close fight, his handlers may be able to damage control their way into another big fight. But if this is a stunning upset and he loses by knockout, I think it's over for him as far as being a star fighter. You know, he's going to be done and he's going to be asking for change at the liquor store with Seth Mitchell. Yep, you heard right. Seth Mitchell don't fall in the hard times, man. And he don't go by mayhem no more. Is Seth, may I have some change, Mitchell, now? But we'll see what happens. What do you think about this fight? Do you think that Amir Khan can pull it out? Or do you think that this is Luis Calazo's time to shine? Let me know your thoughts. And as always, if you like this shit, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. This is your homeboy, Quetzalcoatl. Signing the fuck on out.